welcome to your monthly forecast for the month of April. Let's take a look what's going to be coming your way. looks like money is coming to you let's take a look Okay. Some of you will be attending university or some of you will be going back to school, attending a training conference, short course or something like that for a uh, for an upcoming project. And let's take a look at your love life. Looks like the month of April for you is good, Aries. Hmm. Still. <laughs> A brand new start with somebody from the past. Some areas it looks like you need to learn some more, you know, you need to be a little bit more uh, dynamite in bed and you need to, you know, learn more mm, styles or something like that. And it's like you want to please somebody. Anyway, we'll be pulling up more clarifications later on. Okay, somebody's been gathering around you. Exemplar of the pipes. Okay, Aries, looks like this month of April for you will be very beneficial. There will be a lot more good news that will be coming to you. Plus, money that you were expecting to come, it's finally coming this week, especially around before the weekends. Now, if you want to move away from a place, okay, or if you want to go, then definitely this is the perfect week for you to do all the things that you needed to do in order for you to... You know, to implement your plans. And um, I feel like there is something or somebody that you're trying to run away from. And that you really want to move away for a little while for you to find yourself. You're thinking more of a brand new beginning. Okay, you're creating your brand new foundation. And you're waiting for the changes to finally occur and be in your favor. Now, work-wise, I feel like you also... Either you are thinking about sacrificing this one or you are thinking about, um, you know, moving into a new company, a new place, new city. Because you feel so discontented and, uh, you know, you feel like nothing is going to happen with this job anyway. So, you want to look for something that will be bringing out much more potential in you and much more, you know, um, like much more potential 
and it's you know a place where you can fully spread your skills or sorry, sorry spread your wings and use up your skills and I feel like you just need to be more you know patient and uh, persuasive in doing this although with a brand new change or with a brand new beginning that you're thinking about there are three things that you will be losing or there are three things that you have to sacrifice altogether and even though this is you know something that you don't really want to have at this point you know that it's time to give it up okay now you will also be moving because you've been thinking about moving into a new place, new house, because of somebody that's been harassing you in the past or somebody that's been like giving you a lot of comfort. And um, now is the time for you to really make that major move or major change that you've been thinking about. But along with the change of location, I feel like you will also be changing your job, you know. Because you want to move into a different city and you want to, you know, have a different chapter and different foundation. That's why y there are three things that you'll be losing. So change of job, change of house, and possibly change of somebody that you're with. Because you you want to you, you want to run away from somebody that you're with and you want to run away from someone who's been giving you a lot of difficulties in life. And this is the start of your new beginning, you know. You're already in the right track. Your guides are giving you a lot more signs and I feel like they are, you know, already guiding you to the right path. Now, when it comes to your finances, there is somebody that you are so afraid of getting close to. Even though you know that this is not really allowed in your office or even though this is not really, you know, um, allowed as part of your policy, you don't want to get involved with someone but you're just getting more and more drawn to this person it's a good thing that you will be using the training or the short course or you know whatever it is that you're going to be doing to be away from the office for a little while so that you can start thinking more about you know that you shouldn't cross the line with this person this person is someone who's younger than you and it's a water sign you have tried to resist in the past, you know, being drawn or being attracted to this person. But there is something, okay, more likely um, uh, like, a, uh, like a gravity pull, you know, that at first, you know, for you, this is just um, like a friend or something like that because they are very nice. They're smart. They're intelligent, they're resourceful, and even though at a very young age, they're very responsible and matured, you know, you can definitely rely on them. And when you ask them to do something, consider it done, you know, that kind of thing. And you can see a lot more potential in this person. But for this person, you are more than just a mentor, you are more than just a boss, or you are more than just a co-worker. This person is also looking forward that someday when he can when he or she can finally prove something to you that you know he can he or she can be a part of your life soon. That's why I feel like there's a part of you feels like no, I'm trying to resist this, you know, this temptation or this connection because it can't be. I, I can't allow it, you know. So you will try to be a little bit more, you know, you'll try to be a little bit more, what do you call this, like, um, uh, tough, okay, or you will try to draw the line, but your, you know, your heart will just get even more weak for this person, and every day that you will try to resist and deny your feelings for this person, you will... You know get it more much more stronger now when it comes to your career it seems like you will become even more aggressive in you know in pushing for this project even though there will be some pro some problems with the budgeting or with the with the release of um you know um your request for your team or for your department i feel like you will be you know getting what you want this week because your boss will hear you, your boss will finally see your point, and will boss sorry, your boss will finally share the same perspective as yours. So they'll finally believe you, and this is the reason why you're taking off. You're taking some time off this week to 
you know, to um, go for a training or to study something, you know, like uh, with the, that is related to the new project that you will be handling. And now they are <coughs> really believing in your leadership. Okay, so I don't see much more politics except that you are starting to have more and more feelings for this water sign person that is 10 years younger than you. Or, yeah, more or less around 10 years younger than you. And when it comes to your love, somebody from the past will be asking you, you know, will be asking you for a, um, for a brand new beginning. And you will be reigniting the passion, the connection. And I feel like this is another fire sign that you have cut off. Um, you will be meeting this person or the two of you will be meeting in a gathering, party, birthday, wedding, anniversary or something like that. That both of you will be invited by your friends. And I feel like this is the start of it. Even though you're going to start acting mean and cruel to this person because they have cheated on you in the past. Um, you still can't deny that there's still something left there. But you know that this person is only after the, uh, you know, the empty victory that even though... You're trying to void out a feeling from some for somebody that is at present. Um, I feel like this person, you know, be very careful because their intention is not really good or their intention is not really clean. They only want to get back at you. And whatever they have done in the past, they are still going to be um, doing it to you. And one more thing, um, he is older than he or she is older than you. Okay, you need to make your you need to create balance. You need to balance out your your options. Uh, the, either this person is a fire or double air. Okay, so wait for more signs. I I, I mean you know don't rush into anything. Even if you're <coughs> even if you're single right now, or even if you're you know your relationship is already under rocks. Be very careful. Because I feel like this person is not going to take care of you. And they're just going to laugh at your face. You know, when when they got whatever they want from you. Now, when it comes to your sex life, it looks like you want to please somebody. Because you feel like in this area, you've been, you're feeling a little bit rusted. And you feel like you need some more uh, demonstration. Okay, or you need some more manual. Now... I feel like um, you're just being overly conscious and you need to have some more faith. And feel that, you know, on the inside, you're already beautiful enough, attractive, sexy, hot, and sizzling, ravishing, you know. You don't really have to, you know, try too hard just to please this person. Because if they're really into you, they will be appreciating, even if it's just a missionary thing with you. So... And I feel like there will be some, you know, new adventures that's in store for you. Um, you like it rough, anyway, because this person is a little bit rough. And uh, their fetish is also different from whatever you like. Especially um, doing it outdoors. Um, you know, like, uh, as in literally outdoors. Or being out there in the field. I feel like it excites them more. Um, let's just put it this way. This person will, will only be giving you a lot more wild experience that you could ever imagine. And that you ne you've never had in your life. But it's not really for long term. Okay. It's okay if you want to learn some new techniques or new positions. New things. But don't really put your heart much into this person because they're only after what they can get from you. Now, when it comes to your health, again, teeth and lungs, this is going to be like a big issue this, this week, sorry, this month for you. And you need to be a little bit more careful, okay, in um, going for any dental surgery okay especially if you only want to have um you know what, what do you call it like um people offer a um um like planting their tooth you know or something like that 
because you know if you are going to go for dental surgery th this month it's not really going to go well and it will have an infection and not to mention that you will have a long-term uh, you know medication and you will keep on going back and forth back and forth with your dentist plus there is a possibility of uh, you know um, like you want to sue your dentist for this okay especially if you're a diabetic don't go for it now you just want it's like you are feeling very conscious of yourself it's like you know that there is something that you need to do as a brand new beginning or as a part of your you know of growth but you're very conscious about the things that you're really wanting to do in your life like you're really willing to you know to boost it up and to you know uh spend it all just to change whatever it is just just to change your aura but you know you have to you just have to have more faith and i feel like there's like an underlying disease or underlying health problems that you need to you know to put much more attention rather than your looks and even though you're already healing your kidney stones are still there okay just continue to detoxify i feel like there's still a chance and there's i feel like there's still you know some more stuff that you need to do but um it will slowly affect your you will have swollen feet problems with your vision uh pelvic uh sorry yeah, pelvic pain and on the side well pain on your side and you will also have a hard time um you know sitting for a long period of time okay i feel like this already runs in the family and also the uh, gallbladder sto uh, stones so you need to and uh, you also need to take care of your pancreas. At, you know, right now you need to... One more thing. Some Aries will also have some problems digesting their food, especially, uh, you know, especially vegetables. You know when you eat like a, like a salad or even if it's already a well-cooked um, vegetable and when you poop, you know, it's still the same. It's like how you eat, it's and then you will also discharge it just like that so you will also have a hard time you know digesting um it's a it's okay when it's meat you know whatever it is like white red or you know but when it comes to vegetables it's like it's a very big you know puzzling thing for you is why is it sure you cannot really digest this i feel like it's much better for you to you know go and to take a trip to the doctor as to why this is happening but i feel like there's an uh, like there's an ongoing or there's a like a lump in your in one of your organs that you need to ask the doctor about now finally when it comes to your oracle cards helper of action you're blessed with many wonderful things to do it would be great if you could take the time to make a plan first but you probably don't have the time so get busy follow your instincts and have fun you or someone you meet is very self-assured capable and enthusiastic and can do anything with a smile nine of thoughts stop being so hard on yourself turn your thoughts toward the positive there's no need to worry anticipating the worst isn't helpful know that heaven will provide a solution if you're experiencing sleepless nights or anxiety over a challenge in your life release the problems to your angels messenger of action something new and exciting related to creativity or your career comes in comes to your attention you will feel an eagerness to learn and you're ready to get going although you may feel insecure do it anyway this card represents someone in your life or maybe you who is creative enthusiastic and fascinated by life and who wants to try everything one more thing some errors will also be speaking in um in a like a like in an ev like in an event or so you will be in a like a, standing in a podium and you will notice that someone is really really looking at you intently and you know they can't really help not to uh show their admiration or smile it will make you feel a little bit uncomfortable and conscious and you know people will also be praising you for a, uh for a job well done and your management and uh you know also your peers will also be 
feeling so relieved, you know, with your contribution. But aside from this, expect that there will be a whirlwind affair and um, like someone who will try to pursue you that is very, 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 very younger than you. Okay? Anyway, so that's it for you for this month, Aries. And if you want to talk to me live on the phone or live in the calls, just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net. Blessings to you.